Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel where we collect and create all things cute. I'm the Pastel Prince, and in today's video, I'm so excited. We got our hands on all three Rockstar Girls. <laughs> I'm so happy I was able to find all three of them, you guys. Like, honestly, I'm so shocked because I don't know about you guys, but I was on the Target app for, like, all hours of the day up until the 3rd, and I was like, okay, they're launching the 3rd. I better be ready. I'm on my app. Like, I checked at midnight. Still nothing. So I don't know what happened with these girls at launch. I don't know if they sold out, like, overnight while I was sleeping because I woke up and they were gone. Like, they were on the website, but they were just not in store. I don't know. It was a really, really weird launch. Today and yesterday, I was actually able to get all three girls. So I'm so, so, so excited to get these girls out of their boxes and see what they're all about. Um, but yeah, I feel like I got really, really lucky. And I'm just like, dang, I have pretty decent luck. And honestly, I feel like it might be my necklace. My necklace is like my angel numbers, which are 777. But it's also like lucky numbers you know my friend actually makes these if you want to hit her up she'll be in the description down below um but she also made my little pearl bracelet here um but yeah i feel like this necklace is kind of coming through and i'm like okay okay sevens okay luck anyway let's go ahead and get these girls out of their boxes and take a closer look all right you guys let's go ahead and start with lyric lucas now she's one of the girls that i honestly wasn't as excited about but again i just had to get all three just to satisfy the completionist in me and i'm really happy i did so this is her box honestly their boxes are so nice like they are a little bit different than anything we've gotten before so they actually have this like 3D part on both sides. Obviously one houses their instrument and then one houses their outfit and then of course the girl in the center. And if you're curious about how their seals look, that is lyrics. She is a music focus and honestly I'm pretty sure they're all the same for all the girls. This is the back of the box looking really awesome. I love that artwork. At the bottom here you can see it says the most electric band at Rainbow High is on its way to superstardom. Watch their music video to see them rock. And I don't know about you guys, but I tried to look for the music video because I was kind of curious, but I couldn't find it. Maybe it's just not out yet, not quite ready. Maybe it's like they're still producing it. I'm not sure what happened, but I'm super excited to take her out of the box and see how she looks up close. So let's go ahead and get her out. All right, you guys, here she is all out of the box. And honestly, I think I have kind of mixed feelings. <laughs> so as you can see, she comes with a decent amount of stuff. And honestly, I think the microphone is my favorite thing that she comes with. Um, but <sighs> let's just take a closer look so I can get into more detail about why I have mixed feelings about this girl. There are some good things, but there's also a few questionable things. All right, so here is Miss Lyric with everything that she comes with. Let's go ahead and go over all of the little extras. So of course we got our standard little rainbow high hanger for the pants. And then we have our rainbow high top hanger in gold. And it's kind of cool because it has like this translucency to it. So it's kind of like this shimmery gold, which is kind of different than anything we've gotten so far. And then we also have the gold comb, which is the same kind of material, just that translucent gold. Now for her second outfit, we have these really cute, like rubberized kind of pearlescent boots. And I think they're kind of cool. I don't know what they're based off of, but they have this really pretty gold zipper going down and then the R, oh, it kind of looks like the Fendi logo. Maybe they're based off of a Fendi boot. And then the soles are going to be rainbow, just like some of the other heels and shoes that we've gotten in the past. Uh, and it's this really pretty gradient. We have this, actually this really cool jersey. So I wasn't expecting it to be heavy. Uh, it actually has got like a nice heft to it and it's really, really well made. So this rainbow text is printed on. It's again, this kind of like gradient rainbow. 
Um, we do have these cute little plastic buttons right in front, and then this rainbow threading is kind of a consistent theme throughout her whole outfit, but it's actually this really nice thick jersey material, which is, is really cool. Like, it's, it's pretty substantial. Um, as far as her other two pieces, we have this really cute rainbow t-shirt. It says Rainbow 2021, and then it's kind of got that, like, graffiti paint splatter vibe. And then we have her pleather skirt along with this white rainbow belt. And the buckle is actually a really nice like shiny painted plastic. It has a really nice metallic effect to it. So that's a nice touch. And then we have these two little butt pockets in the back and they are functional pockets. And then again, we have that rainbow threading all throughout the skirt. And it does have this little mini slit. I have some extra thread that's sticking off of the bottom, but it's not a big deal. Just snip it and it should be fine. And then my favorite thing that she comes with so far is going to be this amp and the mic. I think this is so cool. It is hollow inside. So it's just kind of this really thin plastic material, but it totally looks like a, a Fender amp. And I love that they kind of gave it that trunk vibe that is a constant throughout the whole Rainbow High line. None of these buttons are actually functional, but they look pretty cool. And then this actually does come out. So if you want her to be holding it without the amp, you can do that. And then the microphone, this is so cool. Now it is kind of, again, like a flimsy, thin plastic material, but it looks really nice. Uh, and I love that they put this scarf on it. Like this is something that you totally see like a lot of musicians doing especially like old classic rock musicians oh there's actually <gasps> there's velcro oh my god it can come off so you can actually probably use it on her maybe like her wrist or something as a little accessory i think that's a really awesome touch it's not just like permanently fixed on here so that's really really cool and then as far as the actual microphone it has this little hook to go onto her hands and it is removable, which I think is so cute. So you can have her just holding it or you can have her maybe doing like a more like somber song, singing her ballad or something. But yeah, those are all of her accessories. Let's go ahead and get Lyric a little bit closer. So she also does come with the new style stand, just very standard, but it does have that thinner clasp at the top. Nothing super special. I'm pretty sure we've gotten the same one with other characters who had a gold stand. But here is Lyric up close. And I think her details are really, really pretty. Like her makeup is probably some of the most complex makeup we've gotten on a Rainbow High doll so far. Like she has this really intricate eyeshadow. She has like every color in the rainbow, basically. She has this white little like cut crease liner and then she has a black liner and then there's actually like a silver shimmer liner underneath the black which is crazy uh, and then on her lower lash line she has like this silvery um, white liner and then it goes into this kind of brownie liner color as for her lips they're this really pretty like pale pink peachy kind of nude color um, so the way that mine's printed, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but she actually has like teeth painted in, which kind of make her look like a bunny if you look at her, uh, from the wrong angle. <laughs> um, so that's kind of funny. And then her eyes are this really pretty, like pale, almost like white color with hints of blue and purple. So then taking a look at her earrings, they're actually, I think, I think that's like the Versace symbol or something maybe it's gucci honestly i don't know but they are these kind of bamboo inspired safety pins so this is a closer look at her hat it has this kind of gold chain detail and i do love that they made it an actual fabric hat i thought that was really cool because the like plasticky ones that we've been getting with like river and ruby for instance are just i don't know they just don't really translate well and they look kind of funny in comparison to all the other like fabric clothing that they have. But yeah, we have this really nice embroidered RH symbol on the front. And then there's actually this RH print all throughout the back, which I'm not sure how well you can see it on camera, but that's a really cool detail. 
And then on the back, it actually has a functioning Velcro strap here. And there is this plastic buckle. It's not metal, but it's got this nice sheen to it. The hat does come attached to her actual head. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut those off off camera really quickly. So you guys, I took her hat off and one of those things was punched right through her forehead. I am pissed. <laughs> Uh, I will definitely be emailing MGA about this because that is totally unacceptable. Like, how are you going to have a doll with a hole in her actual forehead? It's not like she even has bangs or something to cover it. Ugh. Yeah, that's not, not great. Lyric, not great. If any of you guys out there had the same problem, please let me know because I'm really hoping that this isn't a common issue. The rest of her little things were punched through where her hair is, luckily, so those weren't really an issue. Um, however, do be very careful when you're taking them off or cutting them off, because again, they are in her hair, and there's about four of them, um, and you run the risk of cutting off her hair. Anyway, taking a look at her hair, it's this really interesting combination of colors. So she definitely has a bunch of like rainbow colors in her hair, which is awesome. But her main color in the front is this really like deep kind of like plum almost. I don't know. It's really cool. It's definitely different than anything we've gotten before on any other doll. I did get a request to take a look at the rooting. So let's go ahead and do that now. So her hair is actually super, super soft and it feels really thick. Like... There's a decent amount when I hold it in my hand, but let's see her rooting. All right, so that is the back of her head. It looks decent. And then it feels like definitely most of her hair is, oops, I lost one of the earrings. <laughs> definitely most of the hair is kind of on the sides, um, but you can see how she's rooted kind of like toward the top middle of her head. And then, the only thing is you can kind of see right here, like she does look a little bit sparse. Yeah, I don't know how well you can see that. She's just a tad bit sparse, like where her hair parts on the top. So like right there, you can kind of see her scalp. I wish they would have made it a little bit thicker. seems like they put a huge chunk of hair right here. I don't know. She, again, this is kind of why I was mentioning before. Okay, her earrings don't want to stay on. This is kind of why I was mentioning before. Like, this girl is kind of a mess. Like, even just looking at her, like, her hair is just kind of, she definitely has box hair. It's kind of frizzy looking. Um, but I definitely like what they were going for. Now, taking a look at her actual outfit, I think it's a lot cooler in person. This jacket is really, really nice. Like, it's super plush. It's actually lined with this really pretty silver R material. It's gonna be the same thing that's on her mic. But yeah, it feels pretty hefty and like really good quality. There are these pleather looking stripes going throughout the whole jacket and they are attached with that rainbow thread. She actually has silver on her zippers, just like how Daphne had. She comes with the same gloves that we got with Jet Dawson. So I kind of wish that she came with something a little bit different, but it's fine They're They serve their purpose. And then her nails are painted black. Um, she does have this really cool like zipper effect on her sleeves as well on the cuff. Unfortunately, mine on this side is super loose. Like, as you can see, it honestly feels like it's gonna just fall off at any moment. So I'm gonna have to be really careful about that. So this is the t-shirt that she has on underneath. The necklace actually comes attached to the t-shirt with this thread, which is kind of weird. I guess that's just for like presentation inside the box. I'm taking it off. Bye. <laughs> um, this rainbow tour 2021 t-shirt is so cool it has like all of the major well i guess not all the major cities but a lot of the major cities that artists usually tour and this logo is the i believe the van halen logo right correct me if i'm wrong i'm pretty sure that's it um but yeah i think this is a really cute t-shirt and i definitely will probably steal it for someone else taking a look at her pants these are actually really really nicely detailed so she does have these kind of embroidered looking like grommets on the front and then she has this cute little string tied into a bow and then as you can see they are a biker pant 
in a pleather material with really nice rainbow stitching all throughout. She does have pockets again, just like with the skirt. This is basically just the skirt, but in biker pant form. Here's her second pair of shoes. They have this cool little safety pin detail right here. And then they have these gold studs on the front strap. And then underneath, there's the same effect as the boots, which is that rainbow gradient effect. I went to touch the necklace and it's actually this really cool, like bendy material. I thought it was gonna be like a hard plastic, but it kind of emulates an actual chain. But yeah, you can kind of like mold it to her body a little bit and bend it as you want it. So that's kind of cool. As I was taking a closer look, her hair is not rooted very well. Like, so normally with the other dolls, when they have a part in their hair, like, so this is the part right here, right? But normally it's like woven together to kind of mask it, but hers is just straight in there and it's like separated. And no, that's not something I did. That's how it came. So I think that's why it's making her look a little bit more sparse than she should. Yeah, the rooting is not great on her to be 100% honest. Um, also, I went to comb her hair and she did have quite a bit of shedding. This, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know what happened here. <laughs> like literally I combed through her hair once and she has this huge knot that I'm basically gonna have to cut off now. But other than that, her hair is decent. It's kind of choppy at the bottom too. We'll have to see how she looks after she's washed, but Homegirl is looking a little busted. <laughs> Forgot to mention, there's also no product in her hair. So that's nice. If any of you guys were curious about her articulation, I was really hoping that she would have that nice little waist joint that Jet had and also the ankle articulation, but no, she's just got the standard rainbow high body, which is okay. Like honestly, rainbow high dolls have a really good articulation. So not mad at it, but I would have loved to have the bonus articulation. Okay, here's Lyric in her second outfit. And honestly, I think I like this one a little bit better. It's still not my favorite. And this girl still isn't really my favorite, um, but I definitely like this outfit a little bit better. The only thing is these boots, they're giving Stormtrooper. <laughs> they're just so thick. Like if you can see on the top, you can just see how thick they are and they're very like rubbery and bulky. I don't know. I feel like all the elements of this girl aren't really hitting for me. Like it feels like she was kind of just half baked a little bit. I, I feel kind of bad because I know someone probably put a lot of effort into designing her, but I don't know. I feel like just all the elements are a little bit all over the place, but you know, maybe that's what she's going for. Either way, not my favorite, but she cute. All right, on to the next girl. All right, next we have Carmen Major. And I can already tell by looking at her outside of the box that I'm gonna love her so much more. She just looks so pretty already. I've been trying to like avoid looking at them, which was so hard. They were just sitting in the Target bag. <laughs> this is what she looks like inside the box. And on the side of her box, it is the same as lyrics, which is just Carmen music focus. And then of course the back, again, same thing. So let's go ahead and get this girl out. So here's Carmen and everything that she comes with all outside of the box. And I don't know, you guys, I'm having honestly kind of mixed feelings so far about the line. And it makes me really sad because obviously I want to just be super excited. But I feel like with Carmen, it's mostly quality control. And that's kind of how it was with Lyric as well. I mean, with Lyric, her design just wasn't as much for me, but... I'll show you guys what I mean in just a sec. Let's go ahead and get her off the turntable and take a closer look. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at her shoes first. So her second pair of shoes is this almost like Balenciaga heel looking type thing. And then the strap kind of emulates off white and it does say magic on the side. Um, the paint on these, you guys, is pretty spotty. Like as you can see where the black meets the white, it's just not very clean at all. And then let's see the other one if it's any better. Mm, nope, we have like a little white smudge right there. 
The rest of it looks good on this one though, so not too bad. Now, my favorite thing, honestly, I feel like with this line, I'm gonna love the instruments and the little extra things the most. So this is her guitar case, and it's actually a really nice quality. It's not too heavy, but it doesn't feel super cheap. Uh, and then if you guys can see, it has this really, really cool like rainbow sheen to it. And this is the same thing that they did with the flooring in the house, except the flooring wasn't actually reflective. It just had that kind of illusion of it being reflective. But this is such a cool detail. And as I was unboxing it, I was like, Wow, these clasps look like they're actually functional. And guess what? They are! <laughs> so that's so cool, you guys. It actually opens so you can store her guitar in there. So say they're like on the road or whatever, on tour, she can pack up her guitar and just have it stored away in there. And it's actually got a really nice quality like hinge to it too. Like it doesn't feel like it won't swing, you know? Like it's really nice and sturdy and has some resistance to it and then they just kind of snap closed again. But I am obsessed with this. The little handle is functional as well. Such a cute accessory. Taking a closer look at her second outfit, I really like this. So this t-shirt, you guys, is kind of basic, just like the ones that we've seen before, except on the bottom, it actually has like this raw edge as if it was like a cut crop top. And then of course she actually has this really cool long sleeve like mesh top underneath and it is a full top. And then she has her skirt, which is this really nice pleather studded skirt. And each of these studs is actual like individual studs. So here's a closer look at her guitar and I am obsessed with this, you guys. This is so freaking cute. So it has, as you can see, that gold RH symbol in the middle. None of it is actually like movable except for the strap. There's nothing really going on in the back, but this strap is so cute, you guys. It, it's like this pastel rainbow. And then of course it says rainbow all along it with a couple sparkles and these little attachments that attach to the hooks are this like patent leather material. So the top one is this pink color and then the bottom one is purple. And then these are what the hooks look like that attach it to the guitar. I was trying to take it off. Uh, I wasn't able to do it and I didn't want to push it too far because I don't want to break this. Um, but yeah, it kind of just hangs on her like that. So that's a really nice touch. It's pretty like flimsy, lightweight plastic. And then this is something that I thought was super interesting because she has this little hole to plug in an amp. So I actually took Lyric's mic cord to see if it would work but unfortunately it didn't plug into the amp i'm wondering if maybe that was a feature they were thinking of adding before but didn't go with it maybe i don't know but interesting that it's there i think if anything you can just like take a cord or something and run it into there i don't know so taking a closer look at carmen herself her face is so pretty i love 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 her makeup but this is kind of where we'll get into more of the quality control issues so as you can see first thing is this piece of hair on top is really really frizzy which of course you know it's nothing that we can't fix with a good shampoo and styling but since they don't have gel these curls on the front at least are I don't know, just a little bit wild and messy. All of her other curls towards the bottom aren't that bad. They're these really cute, like springy, like ringlet curls. If we take a look at the back of her head, her hair was totally pushed like this out of the box, just kind of like most of the series three girls that I had. Um, taking a look at her rooting though, she is looking kind of sparse like the series three girls. It's not that big of a deal because once you like kind of comb it and style it out, um, it, it doesn't show that much and then at the very top her hair is parted and then put into these two little buns now i'm not going to take the buns out on camera or i don't know if i'll ever take them out just because i don't know if i can accomplish that putting that back in they are put into these really tight buns where they show off kind of the rainbow color going on in her hair and then i thought this was really nice she actually has like peekaboo rainbow highlights underneath so the rest of her hair is pink and then she has rainbow in the front and then rainbow in the back, which I think is really cute. And then of course her hair is this really bright like fuchsia pinky color. Now taking a look at her edges, this is something that I was super, super excited about, but 
getting her out of the box, I think the molded edges are just a little bit questionable. It just looks kind of weird. I don't know. It's just not really doing it for me. Um, I do like though how they kind of matched up the colors that are coming out of her hair into her little front side edges right here. I thought that was really cute. The only thing is the paint on in between this one, she like has a little smudge between that pink color and the purple. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but yeah, that's one of the quality control issues I was mentioning before. Um, I can probably fix it with a little bit of acetone, but the fact that I have to fix it on a $50 doll, not great. And then something else that I was kind of sad about as well. So her lip color is really pretty, but the bottom of her lip, I don't know if you can see, there's like a defect a little bit in the paint right here. So that's kind of unfortunate too. Um, other than that, she is really pretty. I do like her makeup a lot. So she has this shadow going around like up until the middle of her waterline here and it kind of matches her hair color. It's just a little bit more subdued. And then she has this brown smoky shadow going all around and then this really cute winged liner and then a gold cut crease in the middle. Kind of to match lyrics, except lyric had silver. But yeah, she's actually really, really pretty, you guys. I definitely do like her face sculpt and her colors. Um, it's just those couple quality control things that are a little bit concerning. So moving on to her outfit, I love this jacket. It's this really cool like windbreaker nylon material and it is just one layer, it's not lined unfortunately, but all the details on it are so cool. So there's this really big RH and then it has like these paint splatters going all around it. Um, there is like elastic in the sleeve here. And then on the front she has this rainbow strap which i think is so cute and has this little buckle and then there are the gold buttons going all the way down and then if we take a look at the back which her hair is covering the whole thing tell me who this reminds you of like <laughs> who does that remind you of is that a free britney poster <laughs> is mga making a statement i mean i'm here for it but that is definitely Britney Spears. Like, tell me that's not Britney Spears. But anyway, she has this sewn on patchwork detail of an image of Britney Spears. And there's this really cool like metallic looking, like it's like a mesh piece, almost like tool, I think. And then it has RH and hearts and sparkles all over it. So that's a really, really cool little patch. Here she has another like satin strap that says rainbow and then this one says turn your color up and it hangs kind of asymmetrical off of the jacket i just love the detail in this jacket it's so cool it's too bad that you won't really get to see the back of it which has the most detail because of her hair um but it's cool that it's there moving on to her top oh my god this is a choker ah i thought this was attached to her top oh my god that's so cute so this piece is actually a separate choker piece, which is so cute. It has this little buckle and then Velcro on the back so you can take it off. And she actually does have a necklace as well with this little lock. And then her first top is this kind of interesting denim with pink stitching and then the three little buttons there. And then the back, as you can see, just has Velcro and it's backless. Um, so it's like a denim halter top. Moving on to her skirt, it's kind of like this tweed material and it has that RH print all over it to match a lot of the other things that we've seen in the line. It kind of looks like the um, that pale pink skirt that came with the fashion closet. Not my favorite piece, but it's kind of cute. These boots are super cool, you guys. I really like them. They're thigh high boots. They have this gold zipper going all the way down the front. And then of course there's rainbow high on the side and they're just black all the way throughout the boot which I thought was nice and then they have this gold trim on the bottom. Also she does have these little fingerless mesh gloves which I think are super cute too. These seem like they'd be very easy to lose <laughs> so be careful with those. I forgot to mention she also has these gold earrings which are just the basic ones that they give us with a lot of the other dolls. I wish they would have given us something different but I don't really use most of their earrings anyway, so it's fine. So let's go ahead and get her in her second outfit. All right, here's Carmen in her second outfit. And I love the top half. 
This skirt, I don't know if you can tell, it's so baggy on her. Like, there's a lot of gapping on the sides, but then if you pull it down, like, it just kind of keeps going. <laughs> and her underwear pop out. So, I don't know what happened there, but definitely a little bit too loose. I mean, I guess I could kind of tighten it with the Velcro a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's an awkward fit. Um, but I love this t-shirt with the mesh underlayer. I think it's so cute. But yeah, those are her second shoes. I just feel like this look just looks kind of like disjointed, I guess. But yeah, overall, I definitely like Carmen a lot better design-wise than Lyric. It's just those few quality control issues that I have my qualms about. But anyway, let's go ahead and move on to the last girl who I have a feeling is gonna be my favorite. All right, finally, we're on to the last girl who I think is gonna be my favorite just by all the photos. And honestly, when I first saw images of her, I was like, oh my God, a girl with braids in Rainbow High. Like that's literally what I've been trying to do with some of my customs. And it never quite worked out as well as this. And then if you were curious, there's her seal, just like the other two girls, same thing. All right, let's go ahead and get her out of the box. Okay guys, here's Vanessa. And <laughs> this girl just came in and redeemed the entire line. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so, so gorgeous. Ugh, I am absolutely obsessed with her. Like. She's everything I dreamed of when I first saw her picture, which was that one that was released when I think it was like a sneak peek of Robin, Vanessa, and then I believe Daria was also in it. I was like, oh my God, I need the one with braids. Well, I needed all of them, but especially Vanessa. She's so gorgeous. Ugh. I've been dying to have a Rainbow High doll with braids, which is why I've been like customizing them to try to emulate that. But oh my gosh, I... I love her so much already. <laughs> so let's go ahead and take her off the turntable so we can get an even closer look. Okay, so we can go ahead and start with her shoes. This is gonna be her second pair of shoes, which is pretty interesting. It kind of matches her dress that she comes with. They're kind of like these sporty, like super chunky heels. Um, I really like the heel on this one though, cause it's like a glossy kind of plastic and it does say rainbow on either side in gold and then the bottom of it actually has like grooves in the sole which is kind of cool next we can go ahead and take a look at her second outfit so here it is and <laughs> somebody tell me why they gave her the black and blue dress that broke the internet like 10 years ago like i i don't understand <laughs> unless this is inspired by something else which i'm completely unaware of like it literally just looks like that dress, right? Tell me I'm wrong. Anyway, so she does have this dress. Um, it's really cute in the back. It's like strappy and then there is Velcro that tightens it, but I couldn't fit it over the body form with the t-shirt on underneath. And then the t-shirt underneath has that same kind of, um, what is it, Louis Vuitton kind of print, right? Yeah, I think it's Louis Vuitton. Um, but instead it says RH and it is like a shiny metallic gold. And then as for her second jacket, I think this is super cute. We haven't really gotten anything like olive green like this. So I love that it's like this military style coat and it does have that rainbow text all across the bottom. And then on one sleeve, it has the little sparkle logo in purple. And then it does have that rainbow world tour logo. There's some characters right here. And then on this sleeve, it does have the sparkle logo again, but in red. And then it has one of those little buckle um, hardware details like on, who did we get this with? Emmy, I believe. Yeah. Like on Emmy's sweater, she has that little buckle, but it is asymmetrical. So there's only one on the left shoulder. And then it says, pick your color. And it looks like a really kind of like nineties inspired graphic and then it does say world tour 2021 on the front again these um zippers are just like the normal plasticky zippers it looks like they have kind of a sheen to it but it's not that really shiny metallic one that lyrics jacket had and then at the very bottom there is this little zipper 
and then there is this drawstring towards the back which is actually functional so if you wanted to for whatever reason you could cinch it at the very bottom so here's her drum set which i think is actually really really nice uh, i kind of wish they would have left that symbol in it what is is that would that be a hi-hat i don't know but that symbol that was originally in her prototype pictures but it's fine um these top drums are hollow on the inside and then the whole drum set has this like rainbow gradient effect and they each say sparkle on them and then it's cool because the little what is this thing even called whatever this thing is called it's actually functional so if you hit on it it'll hit the drum i mean it just makes like a plastic clicky sound but that's pretty cool that they added that as an actual functional thing okay now let's take a look at vanessa herself Ugh, i love her so much you guys so first of all look at her face look at her face like look at how stunning she is she has that new like slanted eye face mold which i think honestly i think she has daphne's face mold which is so pretty and i'm so lucky the one that i got has perfect lips so she has this really like kind of like nude brown lip with this nice like kind of contrasty lip liner um, it's not as drastic as we saw on Cheryl but it is really nice super subtle and then I was really excited about the edges on her and they're actually rainbow so we do have the blue ones on this side to kind of match her braids on this side and then we have the red yellow and orange over here which is super cute and then of course the middle ones are brown they are sculpted and it doesn't look like there's actually any issues with hers oh maybe maybe just right here a little bit it's kind of smudged i don't know if you can tell but yeah oh, look at her face she's so pretty oh, i love you um and then moving on to her eye makeup she has this kind of gradient purple going into blue and then again with the brown smoky eye i think they all actually have a brown smoky eye which is kind of cute it's like maybe they like coordinated and got ready together and did their makeup together i don't know she does have like kind of like that cut crease effect as well and then this really cute black winged liner moving on to her earrings i actually really like these earrings these are probably my favorite style of earrings that we've gotten so far like they're just they're like hoops but like dangly chain hoops i don't know those are really cute at the top her hair is in this little top pony and then she has a few of her braids coming down um her braids aren't very soft like they're they're definitely like a kind of a more stiff um i wonder if they're actual hair yeah it looks like they're actual hair that was braided I've never had a doll with braids, so this is a total first for me, but I'm loving it. So as you go more to the bottom, I don't know if you can kind of hear, that's when you rub them together. So they're kind of like stiff towards the bottom, but towards the top, they feel kind of more soft. Like there, maybe there's product in there. Yeah, I think there might be product in the bottom, maybe just to keep them from separating, which makes sense. And then again, she does have her hair in this high pony. And just like the other girls, she does have rainbow elements in her hair. So it goes from the more like warmer tones on the left and then to the cooler tones on the right, which is so cute and cool. And she has this really cute denim scrunchie, which is an actual scrunchie. Let's go ahead and take it off and see what's going on. So yeah, just this really cute denim scrunchie, which matches her outfit. And then her hair is actually wrapped up in that ponytail. Now, I saw some photos online of what she looks like under this bun. And honestly, I'm kind of scared to take it out because she was bald like Jet. But I'm like, do I try taking it out? Will I be able to get her back into this little pony? I think I should be able to. So let me go ahead and take it out and see. So... I don't even have to take it out to see you guys. It's, yeah, she's pretty much bald up here. <laughs> Looks like we have another Jet Dawson situation and that really sucks. Like, do they not think we're going to take their hair down and potentially style it 
a different way. I mean, maybe I won't now, but I don't know. <sighs> for $50 and then with Jet Dawson for $57, like we should be getting full rooting. We should be getting everything we've ever wanted in a doll. <laughs> okay, so I took her little high pony out off camera and honestly, yes, this looks not so great like at first glance, but okay, so I'll put her hair back like how you would probably normally style it. You would never be able to tell. Like she's pretty decently rooted. Like I wouldn't, I'll, I'll never see that. And I feel like I might keep her hair up anyway because it's like already been formed like that. She looks kind of messy when it's down, but yeah, so it's not a huge issue, but she definitely has some sparseness up on top. Okay, so I put her hair back up and she looks so good. Um, one thing that I did notice while I was playing with her hair, I'm not sure if I'll be able to catch this on camera, but okay, maybe it's more on this side. So in each braid, there's, you know, there's like three strands, right? So I don't know how well you can see it, but there's actually three different colors in each braid. So this one, for instance, has like this kind of lime green color and then like that more like true green color and then of course the brown. And then if you look at the purple ones, there's like a really deep purple, a more like lilac slash lavender purple and then a brown. And then let's see, one of the blues. Yeah, in the blue, there's like a baby blue a deep blue and then brown. That's insane. Like they really didn't have to do that, but they did and it gave it so much more texture to the braids. Obsessed. Now moving on to her outfit. So she actually does have this little choker. It's like a chain effect with this little medallion on the front. And then she has this white t-shirt that says rainbow high. I think this is Van Halen. Maybe the other one was something different and this one's Van Halen. I don't know. That's definitely modeled after the Van Halen logo. And then she has this really cute little like white denim corset with yellow stitching and then studs going throughout the front. And then her pants. These are so cute. I love the like layered effect and there's so many stitches going all the way across and they are actually real stitches on each. There are also these straps kind of throughout, and then there's like a little ring attached right here. It looks like a D ring almost. And then she has this really cute little white drawstring. And then of course the knees are cut out in like a square shape and moving down to her shoes. These are so cute, you guys. They're like Timberlands, but they have all this like graffiti all over them and like paint splatters. It says magic on this side. I think these are so precious, you guys. And then of course they have like the grooves on the bottom. And so Vanessa actually, I think has the most accessories. She has two bangles on this side, which are like these really cute chain bangles. She has these super cute plaid, like Scottish looking gloves on both hands. I think I like her gloves the best. And then she has a watch. I love that for her and the watch is actually really nicely detailed so in the face of the watch there are like little painted white details on the numbers and then all around the like circle part they almost look like pearls and then of course she does have her little drumsticks and they have this kind of i guess it would go on her thumb the hook um, but i'm not sure how well that would stay on and then she does have like light pink painted nails. So that's pretty much it for outfit one. Let's go ahead and change her into outfit two and see how she looks. Okay, here she is in outfit number two. And I think the dress is way cuter on, like it actually fits her super well. And then if you guys were curious, the shirt says um, sparkle is life and it's like a graffiti painted on look. Here are the shoes on her again. I think they're super interesting that they're like sporty, but also heels and they match the dress pretty perfectly. Oh my God, word of advice, when you guys are changing out her hands, be super careful with the bangles cause I dropped one and these pieces are so tiny. Like 
these things are just meant to be lost. <laughs> like they're so, so small. And I have a shag rug under my desk. So yeah, I thought I lost it forever and I was gonna cry. <laughs> but yeah, that is Vanessa. She's so cute. I love her so much. So let's go ahead and get into my final thoughts. All right, so to wrap it up, I think this was a really fun line and a fun idea. I'm just worried about quality control. And it was kind of like a theme throughout the whole line. I feel like we had the least issues with Vanessa, but I'm just worried that Rainbow High is getting a little bit ahead of themselves. And we're having like, release after release after release and as much as it's exciting and we're like oh my god yes give us more and we're you know we're buying everything and we're running out to the stores and we're grabbing it i just don't want them to sacrifice quality and get into the you know the scary territory of like quantity versus quality you know and as much as i you know i love the the thought and the design i want them to be able to execute these things especially at a $50 price point, I want them to be able to execute it well and thoroughly and not for us to have those issues. With that said, I don't know that I would say that these dolls are worth $50. I don't know. I, I think Vanessa, for what she comes with, with all of her accessories, her drums are pretty like substantial her braids, her outfits. I feel like everything with Vanessa is very well thought out, well executed, and sure, maybe she's up there with like the Jet Dawson's of the bunch. But as far as Carmen, I don't see the $50 price point and especially not with Lyric. Cause again, I, I don't know. They just, they don't come with as much. Like, do you guys see what I'm talking about? <laughs> it's not just me, right? But yeah, either way, I'm really happy to have all three of them. I think they do look really cute together. As you can see, like, together they do complete the whole, like, trio of the band. So I really do like that part of it. And I think their instruments were super cute. And again, I like the concept. It's just the execution. And I hope going forward that, you know, we we do start to get better quality and it, it stays at the same level, you know? Because that's one of the things I feel like most people love about Rainbow High is that the quality has been so good and they just stand out because of the quality. So once that starts to dwindle, we start to get into kind of a scary territory. So go ahead and let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below. Did you love them? Did you hate them? Do you agree with me? Do you think I'm crazy for all of these kind of nitpicks that I had? Go ahead and let me know. Let it all out down in the comments. We always seem to have like such a positive, you know, discussion down in the comments. And I'm so, so happy to be able to say that because I know things can get pretty toxic really easily on the internet, but we don't have to worry about that here. So thank you guys so much for that. But yeah, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a like. It really, really helps the channel. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. All it does is help me grow and I would be so, so grateful and honored to have you join our little community that we're starting here. With all of that said, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in my next video.